Hey guys, welcome to Queen's Beauty. Today I'm doing a Valentine's Day tutorial. This is my second one. Um, I actually redid it. If you guys saw my Instagram, this is the original picture. I decided I didn't really like the way it came out too much and in my camera it seems a little blurry so I decided to do it for you guys because I want it to be super crisp and nice and clean and just amazing. And what's super fun about this look is that I used my new Morphe brushes palette and this is the 35B palette. Look at look at how gorgeous. Look look at this. Look at these colors. Oh yes. This and I also used Max Viva Glam Miley Cyrus lipstick, which is this fun pinkness. I tried to mute it a little bit, didn't work too well, but you guys will see that later. Um yes, so I really hope that you guys like this look. If you want to see how I do it, keep watching and let me know what you think when it's done. Oh, and um, major, major, major shout out to Melt Cosmetics. I happen to love their stuff. I have a couple of their lipsticks. I am waiting to get one of their eyeshadow stacks so that I can do a review on their cosmetics just because I know you guys seem to like reviews because I did the glitter injection reviews and that has the most views on my channel right now. So I'm going to do that soon, but huge shout out to them because they reposted a picture of me and I literally, it, this was hours ago and I'm still dying, super excited. Um, if you guys saw it, thanks for liking it, thanks for commenting, thanks for following me on Instagram, and thank you for subscribing to my channel because guess what? They got me over 100 views! And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know what that means, giveaway time! So hopefully I'll be able to post pictures of everything that will be in the giveaway soon. Um, trying to get it all done by the end of this week so then I can have everything out to you guys by the end of this month. Um, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram because that's where all the information will be. And I just hit my lip. Look at that. Crazy. Anyways, um, yeah. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Bye. Okay, guys. So I started off with my foundation and brows done. All products used will be listed below. Today, my eyebrows are just like, do you see this? Do you, do you see this? It's just like, yes, hunty. Yes, fucking work. Okay. All right. So I primed my eyelids with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And as I said before in my previous video, I brought the primer up into my crease. And for my crease color, I used Bengal from the Tamana palette. And this was her collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just a very warm, kind of like burnt orange color. I really liked it. And for my outer V and into my crease, I used Max Carbon. Kind of just dabbed that in there until I got the right consistency and blended it out with my brush. Just keep dabbing. Keep dabbing. And now for the blending. And of course, blend everything. No harsh lines. I think I'm going to make that a hashtag. Like for real, for real. Put it on everything. Everything. And for the next color kind of transition into the brighter future that I'm going to be using, I used a dark purple from the Morphe palette that I showed you guys in the beginning. It's the darkest purple. It kind of was a waste because I ended up covering it with glitter, but, you know, the step is necessary to show, I guess. And now I'm using the fuchsia from the Morphe brushes palette that I showed you guys in the beginning, and that is the 35B palette. And I love this color. I love this palette, but I really love this color. I think it's so pretty and fun and just ugh, cute. And after that, I used Too Faced Glitter Glue, and I put that directly on top of the fuchsia first. And then it kind of went a little crazy and kept moving on to the dark purple. Just dab that all over the place. Don't smear it because it will smear your eyeshadow colors. And then on top of that, I just used my Poisonberry Glitter Injection. I have a review on Glitter Injection, so you guys should check it out if you haven't yet. I will try to put the link below if I remember, because I know I said that in a previous video and I forgot, so I will fix that. But yeah, definitely check these out. Purchase them on her website. They're $6.99. The website is glitterinjections.net. And I just keep going, and keep going, and keep going. <laughs> so much glitter! And then afterwards, I went in and I blended the outer V color, which is the black, and a little bit of the purple with the glitter, just so that, once again, there are no harsh lines. So next I used my Stila Waterproof All Day Liner, and I rave about this thing all the time. I really love it. I love the felt tip brush. Um, if you guys don't have one, definitely go out and try it. And for my bottom lid, I used 
um, Maybelline Master Kajal Eye Coal kind of eyeliner thing. Um, I always use this for my waterline and for my lower lid uh, just because it's super smudgy and I really like it. And then next I smoked it out a bit with MAC Carbon. I just wanted it to be all like smoky and just like yes. And I haven't used this eyeshadow in a really long time. I used to use it for my eyeliner and I'm falling in love with it all over again. So definitely go out and try it. It's a great black. And then I got a little visit. Just say hi to the camera. Look. No, not my shirt. Okay, so back to business. Now I am done. I did both eyes and I applied my lashes and these are the Ardell Fashion Lashes. I really like them. Next for my contour, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and for to carve out my cheeks, I used Fawn and Havana. I mixed them up together and I kind of made my contour a little bit dark in some spots so you'll see me making faces like, ooh, just like that. Like, what is that? Okay. And now to do my other cheek, I tried to start at the upper back of my ear, so you guys will see I'm kind of like hitting my hair a little bit, just because I think it pushes my cheekbones a little bit higher and carves them out a little bit higher, so it just gives it more of a lifted appearance, and I really like this technique. And next for my bronzer, I used Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in color 21, which is called Sunlight. And for my blush, I used an e.l.f. baked blush in Passion Punch, and it is pretty shimmery. It's kind of hard to see it in this video, but you guys might see it a little bit. And I just put that right above my contour, and a little on the apples of my cheeks. And I had to go over it a couple of times just because I wanted it to be kind of pink, not too bad, but kind of pink, and it took a little while to get to that. And for my highlight from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I used the color Vanilla, which is like a pinkish white color. I did a little bit on my forehead, and I also used it on the cupid's bow of my lips, just to highlight it a little bit more and bring some more attention to it. Yes, yes, the fan brush. And for my lips, just to highlight my cupid's bow again and lighten some of the dark areas around the corners of my mouth, I used my concealers and I also used Fawn and Havana from the contour kit to frame the top of my face. And for my lips, I used the Max Miley Cyrus Viva Glam, which is a beautiful, like, creamy fuchsia color, which just, like, glided right on my lips, which was oh, just amazing. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And to mute it a little bit, or try to mute it a little bit, I used Max Cream Sheen Gloss in Pagoda, just because I thought that the fuchsia was a little too, like, pow for this look. But I really loved it. Um, looking at it again, I'll probably just leave it the way it is if I ever do wear this look outside. Um, but yeah, now I'm done. I really hope that you guys like this look. If you do like this video, comment below. Give me suggestions for future looks. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Look out for the giveaway that I mentioned in the beginning. Follow me on Instagram at Queen's Beauty. And thank you for watching, guys. Bye.